This is for the women who are desired but never loved all the way through. Made to feel like they're difficult to love by boys pretending to be men. Toying with our hearts like Lego, we learn the hard way to let go. Spending twice as long entangling from lovers than we did folding into them. Breathing them in. I let him touch every soft part of me and confused half-filled promises for love. Punished for simply wanting to know the difference between someone real and someone siphoning off my value to gaslight their lust. I manipulated a self-image for a temporary solution to the empty side of the bed. With my clothes, he took off my worth and fucked all his ego into me. Made me believe receiving less than was more than I deserved, so I too started leaving other men before they realized I wasn't worth staying for. Do you know what happens to a black girl who's lost her magic? She's hollowed out. Lays awake late at night in a quiet morning of her own power. Wonders why being a goddess wasn't enough for her mortal wishes. She could time travel back to the day they met and build a scaffolding in her spine. Tries her best not to equate being truly loved for asking for too much. My body is not a rehabilitation center for fragile men who never plan on healing their own insecurities. Hurt is a scab I pick at in the dark. I am an open wound. I am a weeping willow. I am drowning in my own existence, man. I am tired of always describing my pain. I'm not made of metaphors. I am skin and flesh and bone. I am made of the things that are real and not always strong. I am anger that is turned to grief, which has stayed silent for too long. I've bled on people who never cut me. I've recited affirmations to the moon. I've turned to sisterhoods as holy temples of healing. I've surrendered to God and sought faith to love again, not a man, but the woman staring back at me in the mirror, needing to forgive myself for carrying other people's burdens as my own for the women who are desired but never loved all the way through. Baby, this has got nothing to do with you. Put them aside. Don't answer their calls. Don't check their social. Don't scroll through old messages. Don't beg for closure. You are too woman to feel insignificant. You are too magnificent not to be magic. One day, love will come and it will want the whole of you like air in lungs and all the others will be a distant memory lingering in the past like the last line of this poem <laughs>